Hey guys, welcome back for another quick video tutorial. Now I'm going to show you guys how to set up FTPD on your Nintendo Switch. Now basically this allows you to wirelessly transfer files from your computer to your Nintendo Switch without actually going through that tedious process of turning off your Switch, putting your SD card into your laptop, and then going back into C CFW. Now this whole process takes time and it's so unnecessary if you can just send it all over through a wireless connection. Now this is something that I've been doing for a while. Now if you set up your CFW properly through the Nintendo Homebrew Guide, you should already have FTPD installed on your system. However, if you do not, go to this page, which I will link in the description. Make sure you have the latest release and you go down and you go ahead and click on FTPD.NRO. This is the file that you want to download onto your PC. Now once you have it downloaded, make sure you head over to the root of your SD card and find your switch folder. Now inside this folder is where you want to drag and drop this file. Now I already have it in here as you can see, so I won't be doing it again. Now after you do this, go ahead and turn on your switch and I'll show you the switch side of things on how to properly get here. Now once you installed it and booted into CFW on your Nintendo Switch, you want to make sure you head over into the homebrew menu. Now there are two ways of doing this. Most of you guys go ahead and click on the album tab which is located on the bottom here. However, when you do this, you'll see that on the top it says applet mode. Basically, applet mode means it has restricted RAM access to your Switch console, so basically certain applications won't be able to run at their fullest and might cause them to crash. So I always want to make sure that you guys are doing this the correct way. You want to always open up your homebrew menu by something called title launching. Essentially, you hold R, you hold the R button down on your controller or Joy-Con on any title on your home screen. Now this can be a game or an app like YouTube for example. Uh, do not let go of the R button until you get booted all the way into the homebrew menu like I just did. Now once you're in you'll notice that the red applet mode text on the top has disappeared which means you've done this correctly. Now to continue on you want to make sure you scroll over to FTPD Pro and click on A to launch. Once you do, you're going to see a little screen here with your Switch IP and port. This is important because this is what you're going to input into your PC to connect your Switch. It's extremely important that your Switch and your PC are connected to the same network in order for this to work correctly. Now, I'll go ahead and show you how it works on my PC. As you Now, once you're back on your PC, you can open up File Explorer or any other folders window. And then what you want to do is you want to start typing in the following, which is essentially the IP that is being displayed on your FTPD Pro window. So in my case, I would start off with FTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.220. Don't forget the colon and the 5000 that comes afterwards. And then all you want to do is go ahead and click on enter. Now, if you've done this correctly, you'll see a bunch of things happening on your Switch, basically showing in real time that you are connected and what type of changes that you're making to your Switch. Now, for example, if I wanted to save edit an Animal Crossing save file, all I would do is go ahead and find that save file. So I would go into JKSV, I would go into Animal Crossing New Horizon, and let's say I want to edit this file called The Roost. I could copy and paste it over to my desktop, you'll see that it's actually copying the whole folder over and it's not actually deleting anything from your SD card. So this is really convenient because you're kind of making like a backup copy on your desktop at the same time while it's still staying on your SD card. Now, once you have it saved onto your desktop, all you would have to do is open up NHSE and then you can go ahead and save edit your file. So let's go ahead and change the name, for example, to Roost. I'm going to click File Save. Saved all save data. I can X out of it. And let's say I want to put this folder back in here to replace the other one. Now, you could just delete this one or you can make a backup somewhere. Um, I personally feel comfortable with my um, my file transfer skills so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this file um, I'm gonna go ahead and click yes and then I am just gonna drag this new folder in here to replace the old one 
you'll see that it's copying everything over. Um, the FTPD Pro window will show you the speed and everything. And once you do all of that, that's pretty much it. And then you can X out of your window in FTPD Pro by clicking the plus button on your controller. And you can just click the um, uh, home button to get back into the main menu. Once you're there, you can go ahead and move back to the homebrew menu. And once after you restore your save file, you can go ahead and launch the game. Now this is so much easier than uh, taking out your SD card and putting it into your laptop. So I highly do recommend this process. Now if you have problems connecting to your Switch, just make sure you don't have any firewall settings on your PC that may be blocking your connection. Now I did have an issue with my Bitdefender where I did have to disable the firewall in order for it to work on my PC. Um, if you still have issues, you can always open up an issue on GitHub to help troubleshoot your problems. And thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great one.